Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. Thank you for turning to my channel. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification right next to it. I appreciate the growth of my channel. I didn't think I was going to get this big, however I know it can get bigger. So please share my channel with a friend, put on your Facebook page or YouTube page or whatever you got to do to make this channel grow. I always appreciate it. If you have any comments, leave them down below. And if you have any suggestions for topics to, that you want me to touch up on, please do, because I'm always open for open topics. Thanks for watching. Okay, hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwad. I had somebody write in to me a while ago, and they have neuropathy, they have peripheral neuropathy, and they're trying their best, and they asked about a, some supplements that could help them with, to help cease this, the peripheral neuropathy. Now the question is, what caused the peripheral neuropathy? It could be caused by a number of things. It could be caused by the brain. You could have something going on, going on upstairs. You could have something like a cord compression. You could have something compressing your arm. You could have gone through chemo. You could have a lot of things going on with you. So the causation of neuropathy is, it's, it's multifactorial, but usually what it is, it's a condition that affects the nerves that cause numbness, tingling, sharp shooters, just pain and aching all over. Now, first and foremost, I always recommend diet. Diet is a must. If you have any type of neuropathy or any type of aches and pains, diet is a key. Diet will take care of about 80% of the symptoms, particularly, particularly getting away wheat, gluten, dairy, soy, peanuts, and sugar. Anything that's going to cause inflammation naturally is going to only take that neuropathy to the next level. Exercise. I know sometimes exercise is painful when you have neuropathy. However, doing the correct exercises can strengthen your system, which can or may reduce those symptoms of the neuropathy. So just my list. Now B vitamin, first and foremost, B vitamins. Now you can take a B complex, you can take a B complex. Taking a B complex vitamin is good because all B vitamins are phenomenal for the nervous system. They support the nervous system. Bs 1 through 5 will help give you energy. Bs 6 through 12 will help regenerate the nervous system and the peripheral nerves by helping with the myelin sheath that surrounds the nerves. Because what you want to do, typically peripheral neuropathy, first and foremost, is an indicator of B vitamin deficient off the cuff. B vitamins and magnesium will help, or I'm sorry, can help peripheral neuropathy. So the B vitamin profile, vitamin B1, B6, and B12. I always want to hit those hard first because B1, thymine, 500 milligrams. Now you can take this on an empty stomach first thing in the morning. Will help reduce the pain because it helps also convert food to energy. When you convert food to energy, you could utilize those resources for nerve regeneration and repair. Vitamin B6, peroxine, 500 milligrams. I always recommend taking this before bedtime because we regenerate our bodies while we sleep and also it's good to help calm down the nervous system. B12, now I always recommend methylcobalamin. A lot of times people have a hard time converting the inactive B12 to B12 and or if they have any type of digestive issues because vitamin B12, it's necessarily broken down in the stomach but it's carried along that 25 feet of small intestines before you finally absorb it. In the meantime, you have to convert it. So methylcobalamin is just a broken down version of cobalamin B12, which is phenomenal for nerve pain. And typically, a deficiency of B12 is your cause of nerve pain. Okay, now again, in general, the B vitamins help speed up the nerve regeneration, which will improve nerve function. Now the next is alpha lipoic acid or ALA. There's a lot of reasons why you should take ALA. Take it on an empty stomach because amino acids are best absorbed on an empty stomach. I always recommend first thing in the morning. How many? Anywhere from 600 to 1200 milligrams daily. It's a great antioxidant. It improves sugar and fat metabolism. So if you have peripheral neuropathy due to being insulin resistant or a diabetic, this is going to help improve sugar metabolism and fat metabolism, which in turn helps insulin sensitivity. Anytime that you have a peripheral neuropathy, you always want to look at the insulin levels. It also improves microcirculation and function of the motor nerves. Acetyl-carnitine, or 
L-car. Now, no, this is not the same as L-carnitine. Acetyl L-carnitine is different than L-carnitine. Acetyl L-carnitine taken 1,000 milligrams daily, again, in an empty stomach, antioxidant, it helps apply the acetyl group for burning fats in the mitochondria and helps produce acetylcholine. Now, we need acetylcholine as a main neurotransmitter for brain health. When you have peripheral neuropathy, what's happening? You're also increasing your cortisol levels, which causes stress hormone to be released, and your brain kind of starts to feel like it's fried. It helps shield the nerves against the toxic glucose levels and helps strengthen the myelin, okay? Again, the myelin sheath, so you have a nerve, okay? I always say, imagine a nerve is like a paper towel roll. So you have that, the cardboard in the center, and the myelin sheath is the paper towel that's around it. And you want it nice and thick. The thicker it is, the better it functions, the less pain you'll have. In addition, powerful antioxidant, powerful amino acid has numerous benefits, and that's N-acetylcysteine, or NAC for short. You want to take about 1,500 milligrams, again, in an empty stomach. Now, if you're watching the media, NAC is phenomenal for viral infections. It's phenomenal to prevent your body, again, help boost the immune system from viruses. Wow, and that's all over the media because now there are certain areas where I can't, I can't mention them on YouTube, on, my, on this video. A lot of companies are removing their availability of NAC. I don't know why, okay, but it's great for the immune system, especially viruses. By addition, it's a powerful antioxidant. Reduces oxidative damage, which will help lower the nerve pain. It's, in addition, it's neuroprotective against the mitochondria, again, against neurotoxicity, especially in chemo patients. Supports the bron uh, bronchial and respiratory health. It's good for the lungs. It's good for viral infections that infect the lungs, NAC, and acetylcysteine. And it's a precursor for glutathione. Glutathione is the master antioxidant. It's produced in the liver and it, it helps clean out the system. Curcumin and or turmeric. I always recommend about 1,500 milligrams per day. Curcumin is phenomenal as an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, neuroprotective, inhibits the enzyme that causes stress, I'm sorry, that causes oxidative stress. In addition, it regulates the levels of ACE1. Now again, we have ACE1, we have ACE2. This is the um, renin aldost uh, androgen aldosterone system, which helps stabilize blood pressure through the liver, kidney, and lung pathway. Again, it's involved in the development of develop, uh, diabetic, diabetic complications. It helps control the blood sugar and the oxidative damage. Helps also, too, it's a natural uh, anti-inflammatory, anti-pain, because we produce opiates in our brain, which helps calm down the pain function response. It activates a natural opioid system to reduce pain naturally, and when you reduce pain naturally, it will help lower blood sugar. Once you help lower blood sugar, it helps stabilize the insulin levels, which will help reduce peripheral neuropathy. Fish oil. Now, fish oil is phenomenal for a lot of reasons, okay? It's part of the uh, fat-soluble vitamin, so you do need to take it with food. Fish oil, I always say, hey, it's broken down into two components. You have your EPA and your DHA. I'm not going to try to murder even that name. I can't without some phonetic spelling behind the camera. However, e EPA is a powerful anti-inflammatory. DHA is phenomenal for brain and eye health. Now the question is, how much do you take? Yes, e if the bottle says 1,000 milligrams, you don't know what it is. Now, I always say this, EPA. Now for the listeners who use kilograms as your weight reference, I don't know the conversion. You may, it's probably the same way. So I always recommend body, whatever your body weight is, add a zero, and then that's the minimal dosage that you need to take of EPA. So for example, if you're 150 pounds, add a zero, so you need to take a minimal of 1,500 milligrams of EPA per day. Don't take it all at once. You want to divide the doses. Now, most importantly, to avoid getting the fish burpees, I always say, Eat, put, take, the, take the fish oil first and put the food on top of it, okay? That will lessen the chances of the burpees because I do, get, I do have some patients say, hey, I'm taking this stuff, I'm burping a fish oil. Well, let's reverse it. Put the fish oil first and the food on top of it.
It's a powerful anti-inflammatory. It's great in various metabolic signaling pathways. It helps lower triglyceride levels. So again, what you want to do, first and foremost, change, watch the diet, lower the sugar, because the main thing is you want to lower that insulin response. In addition to, watch the B vitamins. I hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'm always open for open topics. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and share my channel. Be good.